What up, Hope It's Kids? It's your girl Skitten, back at it again. So, uh, first and foremost, Hood Nature changed his video, his his uh, his name, I guess. So it's not Hood Nature anymore. It is Casual Geographic. Good. It, I talked about it in another video about how it had Hood in the title. Yeah. And this is the only Hood-based anything that I ever do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad he's there finally. Um, uh, second of all, I feel like y'all don't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> because y'all keep asking me to react to the video that he made about orcas. Huh. And I just, like, do you not love me? It's a stick. Do you do you not care about me? No, no, it's not real. You're not really scared of orcas, right? It's like an internet thing. I am not watching that video. I will <laughs> never watch that video. Ever, ever, ever. But what if we say please? No. All right. So I am reacting to this video by Hood, not Hood Nature, by Casual Geographic. Nice. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. I'm joined here by my very handsome husband. Mm -hmm. He did his hair for me today. You look so good. I didn't do it for you. I shot videos for you got here. You look so good. I shot like four videos for myself. You look so good for me over there looking good. No. Nope. For me. Nope. Your wife. Mm -mm. Your wife who is, who is saying that you're looking good for her. I'm feeling very objectified right now. And you I just, should feel objectified. I have, I have What's going on? What's going and, on? Um, Stud nothing? I haven't any. No, you like that? You're still hitting on me now? Belly button? Peen. Uh, so here, <laughs> why You're this so monkey dumb. has no respect for squirrels. You're so <laughs> dumb. That is the title of this video. Um, thank you guys so much for all of your support lately. You guys have been just like really excellent. Just my community is so good. And did you know mm. that I hit over 60,000 subscribers? Hey, I didn't actually. I know. Congrats. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You never wait for me to do the finger guns before you start preparing for the video. It's starting to smell real disrespectful in here. Okay. Well, and not just because of your innie. Mm -hmm. You're coming. <laughs> ha. You're coming at me. I'll come back at you. Your finger guns are nothing like Dr. D's. Wow. Take that. So wow. now. Not coming for wow. you. Where are you we're, coming? We're really aiming below the belt, huh? Hey, I'm just saying, I'll be right on the line. If you ask me, you got a big, big belt buckle. Are you? I don't think so. That's all I'm just saying. You're from yeah, Texas, think... you know? It's wide. If you like Dr. D so much. Go ahead and say it. I right, go ahead and say it. <laughs> go ahead and say it. I fucking dare you. I'll send her a text message right now. <laughs> Why don't you just marry her? I already did. Y'all are the same person. We're getting started on the video now. <laughs> oh! Sir! Well, there's actually a legitimate reason why they do this. First of all, that is a lion-tailed macaque, and that is a giant purple squirrel. Two weird animals, but- Oh, the bigger one was the squirrel. Ow, macaque. God damn it. <laughs> Just god damn it. Just god damn it. Da Wait, god hold, damn hold it. Hold on. Hold on. Let um, me- <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me- <laughs> What- what did the one UFC fighter say to the other UFC fighter when he got kneed in the cup? What did he say, baby? <laughs> Ow. Macaque. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Are you crying? Because <laughs> I, I haven't laughed at all. You know there's people giggling right now, and I hope you feel bad. You should feel bad. That's all I'm saying. Macaque. I'm going to play the video now. Can we get back to the video? It, we're 11 seconds in. Thank you. God damn it. But they do have one thing in common. They both have a hard on for this fruit. That is a jackfruit and squirrel. Jackfruit. Hella good. Yes. Macaque has a hard on for the jackfruit. He's trying to be more serious now and more <laughs> professional. Can you please stop ruining this for him so he can continue to have a great career? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Good animals, but they do have one thing in common. They both have a hard on for this fruit. That Shit that again. is a jackfruit, and squirrels are able to use their sense of smell to find them in the trees. Jack but the jackfruit is only edible when it's ripe, and only the squirrels can tell the ripe from the unripe ones. So the macaque will follow the squirrel and let it lead it to the forbidden fruit, oh, and carefully persuade the squirrel to share. That's fucking by smart. By slapping the taste out its mouth. 
The macaque will deliver five fingers to the face until the squirrel backs off. Which one this disrespectful primate eats the fruit the squirrel found. Only when the macaque is done can the squirrel get the leftovers. That's so rude. The squirrel does all that work just to get its pockets taken by a primate That's at the end. Up. It's like if taxes had hands and knew how to use them. <laughs> As a society, we should be more afraid of orangutans. Because if yeah. this ginger flavored refrigerator ever decides to planet of the apes us, we're yeah, I'm gonna ignore over. the fact that the biggest ones can weigh 200, 300 pounds and probably phone book rip a grown oh man in half. God. Let me tell y'all a story on why we should be more afraid of them. So at the Omaha Zoo in Nebraska, the zookeeper showed up in the morning and found five of the orangutans just chilling outside their enclosure. Someone forgot to lock the enclosure, so they brought them back in, no big deal. Except, it happened again with the zookeepers finding the orangutans posted outside like Thanos in Endgame. Mm -hmm. It just kept happening to the point where the head keeper was ready to put someone on unemployment. Right, yeah. It's until they found out why. There was an orangutan named Fu Manchu who had found a lockpick and bent it so he could use it as a key to unlock the maintenance door. What do you mean found a lockpick? Who the fuck is carrying around lockpicks? This is not Skyrim! Nobody's fucking walking around <laughs> carrying fucking lockpicks. So what did he use to pick the fucking lock? Everything's a lockpick if you try hard enough. Small, wiry, and thin, like macaque. It's gonna be on my mind all day today. <laughs> all day. It's, we're just really lucky that they're really chill animals. The yeah. Orangutans are they're just mad chill. Hey man, I watched Planet of the Apes and I did not see it as entertainment. I saw it as a warning. A lot of people did, Dave. Smart. You weren't the only one who watched that and thought, this is real life. Those of us with foresight, we know. <laughs> the reason it took so yeah. long to find out is because he hid the lock between his gum and lips where nobody would be crazy enough to look. Right. Sometimes he'd free all look of his, his friends while the orangutans were running around the zoo. Fu Manchu would go back to his enclosure and act innocent. It's a cute story, until you realize a 300-pound orange Bigfoot that decides when he wants to leave could easily put anybody in the zoo on CNN if you wanted Truly. to. Truly. Nature made them gentle giants, but if they ever decide to choose violence, coffins are going to be on wholesale. This guy has a plan, and I do not like it. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite fucking birds, dude. That is an American woodcock, and fun fact, they have some of the greatest nicknames. He's really just laying into it, isn't it? It's gotta be. This can't be us. What is it, babe? Woodcock. <laughs> <laughs> woodcock. It's the same sound a, a bat makes. Woodcock. <laughs> <laughs> names of any bird. According to Wikipedia, it also answers to the timber doodle, the bog sucker, and the hokum poke. The a wild timber doodle can be found all across the eastern half of North America. Now for the dance walking, it's believed they do this to catch food. They eat mostly earthworms, and they'll stick and probe their bill into the soil and slurp up any worms they find. And by walking slowly and stepping hard with their feet, it causes any worm below to fear for its life and move around in the soil, which makes it easier for the right, timber doodle so to find lunch. And it's probably true because these birds are most active early morning and early evening, which is when That's the worms cool. do the most and are easiest to catch. The more you know. I'm gonna start doing that when I'm ready to eat. You already do that when you're ready to eat. <laughs> or you mope. No, it's one of the two. No. Uh, I don't do that when I'm ready to eat. I do it when I'm eating and I'm happy. Yeah. In the kitchen, when you cook, though, it takes forever between all the chicken. <laughs> yeah, this is still fun. Oh, up. God. Yeah. Jesus. Criminy. Yeah. yeah, this is a thing that happens. <gasps> Eagles will drag goats? or drop goats off cliffs and then let them fall <laughs> to their death. Goat? That was a golden eagle, and just for the record, it can have an eight-foot wingspan. This guy is seven. Not to mention his demon Tweety has talons strong enough to break bones yeah. in your hand and crush a monkey's skull. Yeah. Not only that, but this flying bundy will hunt full-grown deer, baby caribou, and as you've seen, Jesus goats. Christ. Problem is, goats ain't soft, and one kick could break their hollow bones and cripple the bird for life. Bah, bah. So instead, if a golden eagle ever catches a goat slipping, first it'll grab is. it with those vice grips across its feet and attempt to yeet them off the cliff even though the goat can weigh more than they do. They don't let go until the last second, sending the goat free-falling without a parachute. It was definitely nah. manslaughter, but by letting the goat get clapped by gravity, this feather fell and gets a free meal. lose subs ah. I'm gonna fucking lose subs because of this video <laughs> Guys, hey. He's walking us right into it. How do we not do this? It's not our fault. Without having to risk its own life. But goats aren't the only victim. Eagles have been known to airdrop tortoises from hundreds of feet in the air until the shell shatters on the ground below. And allegedly, one eagle turned a man into a name on a stone after it dropped a tortoise on the back of its head. <laughs> oh, got hit with a real life blue shell. <laughs> also, this steroid homicide pigeon has been known to attack wolves and run phase with foxes because they don't discriminate. Anyone can get the smoke. Support they that. live by no morals and answer to no god. And they probably that. could be putting people on shirts if they really wanted Honestly. to. Honestly. Hello. I have a friend who is afraid of goats. She's a stronger person than me because my soul would have filed for divorce the moment this thing pulled up on my address. This 
goat has a plan, and it is not a good one. From the look of those soul sapped eyes, closing the door might slow it down, but it won't stop. <laughs> anyway, this is a La Mancha goat. They look like they don't have ears, but they do. It's just that the outer part is basically not oh, existing. I thought the ears were just also, like it looks possessed because they have rectangles right. for pupils. But to be fair, having this helps them watch out for predators even while eating. And speaking of eating, even though they look like the spawn of Satan's barnyard, they're perfectly harmless because they mostly eat shrubs, herbs, and small trees. Except this guy, he and eats souls trees. and he finna go grocery shopping. <laughs> Bro posted up like a Jehovah's Witness, but instead of speaking of the Lord, he looks like he'd rather just take you to him. Those are the eyes of a goat that is not afraid of hell. <laughs> this is how flamingos feed their young. I'm not gonna lie to you, that looks really bad, but it's not what you think. It's not a flamingo putting another one on the news, they're both trying to feed its baby. Flamingos use crop milk to keep their chick alive for the first couple of weeks, and both the male and female do this. Crop milk obviously isn't actual milk, but it's the lining of the bird's crop, which is where they store food before it's digested. The gut juice is also high in protein and fat, and even red and white blood cells, which is basically the bird version of giving your baby vitamins for its immune system. Penguins and pigeons do the whole crop milk thing too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and answer two questions you probably already have. Number one, the reason it's red is because of their diet, and feeding the chick red milk actually causes the parents to lose color, which they get back once the chick starts eating on its own. And number two, the reason the flamingo on top is just spilling it on the other's head, I have no idea. All right. To be fair, Thanks. flamingo's brain is smaller than its eyeball, so they're probably just a little confused. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's just like, they're just kind of stupid. You <laughs> said it's smaller than its eyeball? Yeah, that's good. He probably is up there just like, I'm also not sure we're doing this, but <laughs> it's not dead yet. Way of saying they're just a special kind of stupid. Lights are on, but ain't nobody home. This lizard can shrink its bones. This baby Godzilla is a marine iguana, and they're the only like lizards marine that marine actually products. go out into the ocean. And even though it looks like it should be getting ready to put another gorilla on the news, they're actually harmless and eat mostly seaweed and algae. So the cute, problem Jen. is, at least once a year, the waters get warmer and destroys the red and green algae that the iguanas like to eat. Which causes a lot of them to starve and become a hashtag. So to stay alive, some of the iguanas will shrink and they can become up to 20% shorter. Oh, shit. That would be like a 6 foot man waking up a pair of heels short of 5 feet. Many scientists believe they're able to reabsorb their own bones, which is what causes the shrinkage. Oh. Now the reason they do this is because the smaller they are, the less food they need and the less exactly. energy they have to waste that trying to find sense. it. Once the water gets cooler and the algae comes back, the iguana goes back to normal size. Moral of this video, we eat less to lose weight and they lose length to eat less. Listen, why well, said this was one of the smallest primates in the I world, but I never one. said what was the smallest. I used to want one of these so fucking bad. That title belongs to this little guy right here. This is a mouse lemur, it's probably the cutest animal you've never heard of. And if you have, it's probably because of this guy. As you can probably guess, this baby faced tree jockey lives in Madagascar. There's different types of them, but the smallest of them all is the Madame Birth's mouse lemur. And at about 1.1 ounces, most of them weigh less than a pencil. They also have by far the smallest brain of any primate, and at about 2 grams, it weighs about as much as a paperclip. Which explains why more is half a century with the mind of a toddler. <laughs> These morts of the world eat small insects, fruits, flowers, nectar, and sometimes each other. But they get bodied <laughs> by almost everything, and one of their biggest ops are the Fusa. Apparently there's a good part yeah. of the internet that didn't know this actually existed. Yeah. House lemurs avoid becoming Fusa food by hiding in trees all day. Also, lemurs in general have learned to recognize the alarm calls of birds and then do the dash whenever they hear them. I forgot to mention this, but more specifically is a Goodman's mouse lemur. In case you were curious, King Julian is a ringtail and that boy Maurice is an eye eye. <laughs> I don't really have a joke to end the video, so here's a baby mouse lemur. Boom. How much are they? I don't know. Are they nocturnal? Probably. Do they scream? Definitely. Then no. Those are all the no's. They could be nocturnal. But the screaming part. They definitely scream. Most nocturnal right? things like they were, yell. They were screaming in that picture. <laughs> I can hear it now. What, what's his name again? His new name is Casual, Casual Geographic. Yeah, very good name. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. Unless it's the Orca video, it's not happening. And while we're on the subject, stop trying to jump scare me with videos of whales. Ah. It just gets you blocked. Right. That's all it does. I don't even, as soon as I see a video with any kind of ocean in it, I just block the person, which right. feels... I think has probably led me <laughs> to blocking some pretty hey. harmless people. Hey, if the message has got to say, not a whale, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And you know, just let and us know And also, if, I probably won't believe you. I'll probably have Chavez watch it first. Which is fine. You screen videos, it doesn't take much time. You know what I mean? I just click through it. It's either a whale or not a whale. <laughs> or I won't, and I'll lie, and you'll get blocked, right? It doesn't bother me. It's not going to ruin my day. <laughs> was that a video of a whale? Yeah, sure was. Going back to playing video You're games so now. <laughs> uh, thank you, husband, for joining me. I'm not here right now. I'm somewhere else in my mind. Peace out, Hope Biscuits. Kokomo. It's
getting lit. Something in Kokomo.